This is Sims, and we are back with more Cinderella Phenomenon in the last part of Karma's Route. Or Claude. Karma. He'll always be Karma to me. Um, so we're in the last part of his route, so in the last part we got this CG. <laughs> and then we went, and then we clicked, and it was like getting about time, and somebody knocked on the door. So I was like, we're backing up, and we'll end on this CG. So anyway, this is where we are. Bird, it's not about you. Shh. Don't look. You're, you're too young to see kisses. <laughs> He's like, you kiss me all the time. Not like that. It's inappropriate. Crazy. Girl. Anyway. Ah, so we're about to get interrupted. I hope it's not our dad, because that'll be really... Anyway. Knock, knock, knock. The sound of knocking startles us both. A muffled voice comes through the door. And obviously we're on the good ending. And then what we're going to do is we're going to skip through, do all the opposite choices, get the bad ending, cry a little, because he's probably going to fucking die. Um, or something, and then, you know, we'll check out our CGs, and that'll be that, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, no, 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 princess, the king is requesting your presence down in the dining hall, he says that your friends have arrived, princess, I hear the doorknob begin to turn and quickly speak, yes, I'll be there in a minute, I'll let him know, princess, First the curse, now this. It's as if the world is conspiring against us. No, it's just improper for you to try to bed me before we're married, goddammit. I'm kidding, shut up, get in the closet. <laughs> he kisses me once more on the forehead before slowly sitting up and running a hand through his hair. I catch the mischievous look in his eyes as I smooth down my own ruffled hair. Don't worry, Spacey. We'll just finish this later. Oh god, I hope so. I feel my cheeks flush. You say such uncouth things. Claude chuckles before he stands up and offers his hand. He's a typical fucking prince, isn't he? Like, <gasps> we'll finish this later. <sighs> and you're like, keep it in your pants, motherfucker. I mean, you know what? Better yet, don't. Uh, <laughs> I, I take it and smile up at him. I love you, Spacey. And now I get to say it as many times as I like. I love you too, Claude. I stand up on my toes to plant a quick kiss on his lips before heading to the door. Let's go, Claude. Aww. That was it. I really thought, like, it might be a little bit longer. Um, but, uh. <laughs> we could have literally done that. In the last part. But this is what happens. We're like, well, we'll stop here. Because, I don't know, it could be another five, ten minutes. And it's, like, literally another two. Um, but now we get to see all the... <laughs> just Lady Karma. We get to go through our seat. But we're going to go through the bad path, obviously. But we can't, like, skip the... um The ending credit thing. Their music is really quiet. I can't even hear it. I can't even hear it. Like, I turned it down a little bit, um, just because the first one, like, some of the, one of the songs in the middle of the game was copyrighted. Um, and thank, thankfully, it's just like, you know, I can still put it up. It's not like Bad Apple Wars where they were like, no, you can't do this, because I'm like, fuck, if the background music is fucking copyrighted in this game, like, I'm fucked. Like, I recorded two parts, and the first one, you guys haven't even seen yet. So I was like, shit, like, that's gonna suck. Um... Like, I know, like, the opening credits and sometimes the end credits are, like, copyrighted songs, but not, like, the music in the middle of the game. So, I don't know. Um, I don't want to take any chances. Uh, so I turned it down a little bit, but now I can't even hear it. And I barely turned it down. Thanks to all these Kickstarter backers who backed this game so that we have it, because I didn't even know about this, but I probably would have backed it, too. Mm -mm -mm. Um, oh my God, you can't even like look through this. Um, so this was ch 
chapter three. Right. Okay. So this was right because the first part, the first chapter, the first chapter was just going left or right, and it doesn't really make a difference. We're already in Karma's route. At chapter three is after you pick Karma's route. So this is where we're going to start. No. Oh, I guess we can just save here. Well, I wasn't trying to save. What was it doing? What the fuck? God damn it. I was trying to, like, I don't know why it, like, rose in full bloom. No, wait a minute. What the fuck? No, god damn it. Here we go. No, I want to load a save, god damn it. I clicked the wrong buttons. I'm too stupid. Yay! Light and darkness. Oh. Oh, I'm so curious. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we're going to skip everything. So we're skipping everything. We're going to choose all the bad things. Um, we're supposed to say it's not that terrible. I don't think it's that terrible. You can work around it. You have your disguise. Yes, I suppose I do, don't I? People loving you isn't such a bad thing, is it? Everyone loves Miss Karma. Meanwhile, I can't even get my father to look in my direction. I prefer a person to love me as I am. Not because they're compelled to because of a curse. I can feel his eyes on me. I refuse to look at him, thinking that his gaze must be filled with judgment. This hurts me. I don't want to hurt Karma. I don't. I love him so much. <laughs> Princess, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? You look a little lost in thought. I'm fine. Still, it feels like I'm missing something. Is that really the entirety of his curse? Fun! We get to slap Rumpel! Yeah! There's a little bit of fun in this. I lean forward and slap Rumpel from his blind spot. Both of the men turn to stare at me. I look at the red spot I left on Rumpel's cheek and wince. I didn't think I've ever I don't think I've ever slapped a person for any for anyone else before. My chest feels slightly heavy. P Princess? Oh, well, bird, then go away. Good God, your, ta your toenails! Oh, trim them! You're being ridiculous. I've told you many times that I don't appreciate your flirting, and Karma doesn't either. Such a persistent man needs to be slapped a few times. Rumble puts a hand to his cheek and stares at me, distraught. You deserve that. All right, what's happening over here? Oh, nothing. I was just showing myself out. Excuse me. Go outside. Well, I did say I needed some fresh air. No point in backing out now. I walk to the front door. Princess? I turn and see Delora looking at me with amusement flickering in her eyes. Princess, what are you doing? Getting some fresh air. It's dangerous out at night, you know. <laughs> that totally came out wrong, but whatever. You can't just keep me inside like some caged bird. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, you can. Sometimes caged birds need to be kept inside because they're too stupid to be outside. That's you. I'm talking about you. Bye. He's like, don't touch me. <gasps> no, you didn't just poop on my couch, you naughty little bastard. Bad bird. Bad. No, you're bad. You go sit in the shame corner. You're an asshole. Naughty. You know better. What? He deserves to get yelled at. He knows better than to poop on my fucking couch. He knows better than to poop on me, which is good. But then he pooped on my fucking couch like an asshole. Like, fuck you. Poop in your cage. He sometimes will he be sitting there playing on his cage and he will fly, lay it on my couch, and then fucking poop. And it's like, I know that there are poopy pads. Like, I have puppy pads lined up next to my couch so that, like, when he poops over the side, he poops on a puppy pad. I'm fine with that, you know? He knows how to do that. But he'll leave his cage. Your cage is where you poop. But he'll be like, I'm going to fly to the couch and then I'm going to lean over and poop it. You're still kind of an asshole for doing that. Like, your cage is there for, like, that's where you poop. Not my, he just, he's such a dick. I'm sorry. Like, literally just on the arm of the couch. And I like, I'm going to be there for like an hour before I can clean up because I can't reach it from here. Like, stupid asshole. Bastard. Ugh. I didn't say you had to stay inside. I said it was dangerous. You might need to get your ears checked. I'm going to see if I can actually, like, reach it from, like, where I am. Hold on. I can't leave it there. It's going to drive me crazy. Oh, my God. My headset. 
cord walks really far. I can actually manage to walk from my dining room where my desk is into my fucking living room. Oh, it's pretty funny. I got a futon and a couch between me and my desk, okay? Like, and I literally just walked around. My headset cord is fucking long, man. I literally just walked around with the cord dragging across the back of my couch. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. I could probably make it into my kitchen and get like fucking, be like, hold on. I gave it some ice, guys. My water is running out. <laughs> this is fucking great. This headset cord's amazing. I mean, I did cook, cook did, did make muffins one day when I was recording because my headset cord actually reached into my goddamn kitchen that far. I couldn't manage to reach the timer on my oven, though, to, like, turn off the, like, when it was beeping. But, you know, that was like, hold on, a little hard, but I made muffins. So, I mean, I knew a lot of shit. Almost do long. I could almost get to my laundry room. <laughs> anyway, um... There won't be any problem with me going out right now. Oh, then there won't be any problem with me going out right now. Princess, you only hear what you want to hear. You can't go outside without an escort. I'm not going to go far. Before Dolores can stop me, I walk out in the front door and head to the direction of the sounds. You must be the most disobedient princess I've ever met. And you must be the most annoying witch. Ha! You're a witch! Yes, I am. Damn it, that's not what I meant. Dolores lets out an undignified snort as she catches up to me. Fine, then. We'll go on this little night stroll together. Oh, boop. Ooh. Oh, Claremont. <laughs> I'm, this is going to be sad. He's going to turn into a beast and we're going to hate him or he's going to die. I don't know. It's, it's going to be bad, though. We're going to break his heart. Just say something to her. Why? All you ever do is talk about her. Even Karma says your concentration is lacking because she's always on your mind. So just tell her. If she doesn't like you back, then that's it. If she doesn't like me back. Confessions are hard, princess. Very tedious. You're only saying that because you're dramatic about everything. The very nature of love is dramatic, darling. But enough idle chatter, sir. Let us continue our training. The cupcake with the pearls. I love that one. Princess, I didn't know you liked such cute things. That's precious, darling. I hope he doesn't tease me about this later. Let's go enjoy this somewhere else, shall we? I wonder if the CG changes. You would think it would change. Attempt to leave. I think we'd better get going. Karma nods his head. I'll have some explaining to do if we just sit here. Is there nothing I can do to help you two? No, obviously not. I'm sorry. He doesn't look, he doesn't look amused. Why? I'm only trying to get us out of here faster. Leaving. I'm so sad about this. Wait for an opening? He'll be expecting me to fight back. I have to hold my ground until there's an opening. What would Jurian and Garland do in this situation? Nice and obedient, yeah. Better that way. After all, I'm not a bad guy. The man walks me down the alleyway. His hold on me is still tight. I'm forced to walk with him until we get to a dead end. Hmm, now where was that passageway he was talking about? Now's my chance. What's this I see before me? And then Karma comes and saves us and blah, blah, blah. And we can say the eyes or the cheeks in this time, but we're going to say the eyes, because that would be me. You always look at a person's eyes first, so the eyes. Eyes are the mirrors to your soul, as they say. Does that mean you always look into my eyes, princess? The minute he says that, I look into his eyes. Karma flutters his eyelashes at me, and I look back down and grumble. See, I, but I, I like this because it's like, look at her. She's like, Ugh. what was that, a trick? Made you look. What did you think? Think? Of my eyes. Do they draw you in? I've never looked at Karma's eyes closely, but now that he keeps talking about them, I can't help but look closer. His eyes are a pretty color. You don't have to answer that, princess. I'm just kidding. Of course. Your eyes, on the other hand, are beautiful. 
You and Rumpel really are the same person. You both stout, spout nonsensical compliments. We get to go down his route next. That's going to be the fun part. Nonsensical? Oh, princess, I'm so offended. I mean what I say, unlike that fool. Anyway, I'll let you choose the order of things. Do, 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 do. Try to fight them. I may be outnumbered, but I can't let myself be caught. Maybe the people at the bar will help me. I open my mouth to scream, but one night covers my mouth as some attention falls on us. Nothing to fear, everyone. Just a criminal we've apprehended. I struggle in their grasp, but the men are too strong for me. Don't fight back, ma'am. Resistance is futile. I know he said useless, but I wanted to say futile just because. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun for me as I drink out of my Star Trek tumbler cup over here. <laughs> everyone in the bar looks scared of me. This is even worse than everyone glaring at me. I try to blink back the tears as they come into my eyes. Come on, let's take her to the palace. And then we go, and then he saves us, and then he gets cut, and he's like, whatever, bitch, I don't care. And we do something nice for him, and we still get our thing, but we're not going to end up falling in love with him. That's the sad part. He's going to love us, but we're not going to love him. Because we haven't tried. Don't move. With his face so close, all I can do is stare right into his eyes. Karma's hands tighten on my shoulders, and for a few moments I feel a slight panic rising in my chest. And then Karma steps away from me with a rough shake of his head. Karma? Next time I do that, Spacey, feel free to push me away. What? It's better that way. What does he mean by that? You never answered. Will you listen to my story? All right. Um, it's nothing. As much as I want to say something, Claude told me before how hard it would be, how hard confessing would be. Claude told me before how hard confessing was. Jesus Christ. I can't begin to understand what that would be like. Princess. Spacey, don't be afraid to tell him what's on your mind. Maybe you should really tell her, Garland. But then how do we get a point for that? Do we, or maybe we don't in this. I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. Topple him. His hand is a clear opening, but I can't damage his hand any further. I try to shift my weight against him. If I take him by surprise, I push back against him as suddenly as I possibly can. Claude makes a sound, maybe of disapproval, and doesn't budge. I change tactics, stepping on his foot instead, but he only shifts his stance. Before I can think of what to try next, Claude moves and I'm suddenly pinned on the ground. Karma one, Spacey zero. That was a pretty good attempt, love, but not good enough, I'm afraid. Comfort him. Something must really be bothering him. I should be patient with him, just like he is with me. Before I can even think about what I'm doing, I reach out to grab his hand. But that makes him angry because he's falling in love with us and he feels the pain. You know what I mean? Like, we just don't realize that until, like, now we know. Like, we knew there was something going on with this curse, but we didn't know what it was. Now we know. Like, exactly. You know? He just slapped my hand away. You shouldn't just reach out to touch a person without giving them some warning. But he does that all the time with me. I pull my hand back and at the same moment, Claude's expression falls. He looks at me with an almost pained expression on his face. No, wait. I shouldn't have said that. I'm... I'm sorry. Let's look for Karma's gift first. I know the errands are important, but I really need to find Claude a gift. Is it so wrong to put him first? I should be able to find him something soon. Do you have something else in mind for him? No, but it shouldn't take too long to find him something. Oh, wait. Uh. Sorry. I kind of itched my head. I'll follow your lead then, princess. The two of us walk around town for at least an hour searching for gifts, but nothing stands out to me. I slowly feel myself becoming frustrated, knowing that I've wasted so much time. We haven't even done the errands yet. Maybe Waltz was right. We should have done the errands first. I've wasted a lot of time, haven't I? We're fine, princess. It'll just take us a little longer to get back to the Martian.
I tightly gripped the locket in my hands as I stared at him. And this was so important, so very essential, that you once again missed knocking on my door for a simple delivery? His voice slices through my heart. Ouch. I... I wanted it to be a surprise. I'm not in the mood for surprises, princess. He's trying to make himself hate us. The being angry. Or he's angry because he's like, I love you, and you're just gonna think I'm a bee, and you're gonna break my heart, bitch! And like... I recognize this hand. Claude? I lift one hand from my sword to touch his hand. The breathing behind me hitches and then stops as the hand slides off my shoulder. I turn to face him, raising my sword in readiness. By the time I've turned around, Claude already has one hand on my wrist and the other on the edge of my sword. As much as I enjoy the feeling of your petite hands, princess, I would say you just let your guard down. Claude. I want you to smile. Claude looks at me, his expression puzzled. He chuckles softly. But I am smiling. No, I want a real smile. One that isn't so sad. Ah, you saw right through me. We've been partners for long enough. How about this one? He smiles a little awkwardly, and the quirk of his lips looks more embarrassed than bright. I raise an eyebrow in confusion. No need for that look, darling. I really do appreciate your worry for me. I... Karma suddenly stops, eyes wide. He puts his hand on his chest and takes a step away from me, his fingers clutching at the fabric of his shirt. <gasps> I really do love Karma, and this hurts me to go down the bad path. I almost don't want to go down the bad path, but we need to, like, get their bad endings. You know what I'm saying? For what? For my stubbornness. Claude pulls away from me slightly and raises an eyebrow. He chuckles. Oh, but your stubbornness is one of the many things I like about you. My heart thumps loudly. Like? So we obviously have feelings for him, but maybe it's just because it's not enough? You know what I mean? Oh, I meant... Suddenly he steps back. His hand on his chest again. His breathing heavy. I stare at Claude with wide eyes. This is so sad. Like He's gonna die or stay a beast. I want to keep practicing. Princess, if you overexert yourself, your reflexes will be slow tomorrow. But I'm nowhere near as good as Jurian and Garland. Are you sure you won't reconsider going, Princess? No, so please stop insisting I reconsider. I'll go to save my father. Claude sighs out, then leans forward and sets a hand on my head can't promise that. Princess, I'll be fighting right beside you if it comes down to it. I'm going to protect him. Staying behind him will only have him suffering because of me. Stubborn until the very end. I only want to be on equal footing with you. Claude sighs but doesn't say anything. Let's attempt sleep in preparation for tomorrow. This is gonna hurt so bad. Kind of like fucking Rod's path where he just disappeared. And I hate doing the bad endings afterward because it ruins it for me. Like, it just, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Like, we had the beautiful ending. Oh! And then we do this and it's like, ah! But otherwise we have to play the game. And like, stop at the last chapter. Go back. Do all this. Do the bad ending and then go back. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, normally I can do the bad endings. Like, okay, because we, we, they branch off. You do the bad ending, you go back, you continue playing. You do a bad ending, you go back, you continue playing. But this one is 100% good or bad. That's it. And it's like two straight paths. You can do straight ass bad, straight ass good. So it's easier to do it this way. I just feel sad because then we have a bad ending and it makes me like, why would I be afraid of you? You've never done anything frightening before. You weren't a frightening person. The only time you ever frighten me is when you're like this. When you're when you look like you're in pain and when you keep secrets. The secrets are my own selfish desire, but they're for your safety, too. I'm talking in circles. Why would you just tell me what's going on? Oh my god, what if we kill him when he's the beast? <gasps> I... Claude's voice trails off at the sound of running. Okay. Okay, here we go. And then he captures us, and then the beast is coming, and then... Beauty, the beauty and the sinner. Oh. oh God. Where did 
did the beast come from? Knights immediately rush toward me. I back away as far as I can without re-entering the throne room. Princess, come quietly and we'll keep you somewhere safe until all this dies down. I raise my sword and stand ready when the knight surrounds me. I order you to stay out of my way. Her apologies, princess, but we're under orders from the king. Alcastor is not the true king. What did he offer you for your loyalty? Wealth? Status? It's none of your concern. One of the knights moves towards me and I react on instinct, swiping at him. You might want to put that down before you hurt yourself, princess. I'll fucking put you down. Do not antagonize me. One knight rushes me and my blade connects with his shoulder. Another approaches me from behind and I hit him with the back of my sword. The third moves too fast for me and I feel his blade cut into my shoulder. I hiss at the pain that stings from the wound. I'm bleeding. The next time he swings, I successfully, successfully manage to evade him, but then bump into another knight. I'm surrounded. Where's the beast? Just come with us, princess. We don't want to hurt you. No! I feel one of the knight's hands on my shoulders. I attempt to pull away from him, but stop when I hear him scream. The beast stands behind me, eyes narrowed, its mouth gaping wide. A scream escapes my throat. The knights change their focus to attack the beast, but it easily swipes them away as it advances towards me. It's getting closer. I desperately back up. However, my back soon hits a wall, and with nowhere else to go, I stand in the defensive position that Claude has taught me. I hold out the sword and then use it to throw back the beast's shadow claw as he reaches out for me. That stance. It talks. Stay away from me! The beast moves toward me again and I stumble in place, struggling to hold my ground. A knight throws his sword, the blade impaling itself into the beast's shoulder and giving me an opening. The beast's wounded arm swings into my reach and I lash out with my sword, managing to draw blood. Oh no! Oh, we're gonna end up killing him! That's gonna be awful! Princess. Talura would never create a beast like this. This has to be Sir Mithros' doing. An attacking knight catches the beast's attention and I don't wait. As the beast turns, I raise my sword and manage to slide it deep into the beast's chest. <gasps> This is awful! A piercing erupts from somewhere deep in its throat, and I stumble back without my sword, which is still stabbed through the creature's heart. The beast collapses to the ground. I stare as it raises a hand to its chest. That motion reminds me so much of... Right. It was all an illusion. The glimmer of light catches my eye. I freeze as I stare down at the ground. Oh, God. Guys, this is the fucking worst. It was sad with Rog because he, like, you didn't let me back. And you're like, maybe we could have... I could have grown to... Ah! Like, we just... I mean, technically, we killed Rod because we didn't love him and his bad ending. But we literally fucking stabbed Karma. Oh, God. Oh, oh. This is the worst. Right there, where the blood is already pooling around the sword and the beast's chest, is a rose-shaped locket. The locket I gave Claude! Why do you- The beast stares up at me with glassy eyes, its mouth barely moving. After a few moments, a low rumbling comes from the beast's throat, and I realize that it's a grisly pain chuckle. Afraid of me. I told you. The beast stares at me, unblinking, but its eyes are already beginning to haze over. It speaks. And the locket that it has. I look at the locket again, and the blood seeping beneath the surface, and I suddenly realize. If I ever told you the reason, you'd hate me, Spacey. Or more accurately, you'd be afraid of me. No, no, no! Oh! That's exactly how I feel! I'm over here like, no! I kneel down beside the beast. I was. Wrong. No, no, no! Claude! I clutch the locket to my chest as I kneel over the beast. Claude, no, please! I lean down to listen to his breathing, but there's nothing but silence. Everything around me goes dark. I killed him! There's a sound of footsteps behind me, but they're mute. Unimportant. Claude! I'm so sorry! Oh my god, we fucking killed him, guys. That was the worst. It's like the end. Bad end! 
vines ripped his heart out. <gasps> oh, guys! Oh my God, guys! That's Waltz. I think this is Rumple, and I think uh, this is Fritz. The because this is the Neverland curse, you know what I mean? So, does he? is that like the Sleeping Beauty curse? Like, Oh, no, they said his was Rumpelstiltskin, right? Because that's why he would why he would call himself Rumpel. But, oh, that's turning the, like, the straw into gold. That's what it is. It's, like, turning gold. That looked to me like a spindle on a spinning wheel or something. I couldn't figure it out. I, okay, so if I think about the, duh, okay. Um, and then this is obviously, like, Little Red Riding Hood or something, but. Anyway, um, so let's go to our gallery. My game is being really jerky right now. Boop. You know what I didn't realize until just now? There's a chameleon behind him in the fucking toy store. Oh my god, so the first time you meet him, right? You just think, oh, this beautiful woman walks in. You have no idea that he's a character that you're going to date. And, hello, there's a chameleon. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, I hate that. I want to be able to just scroll to the next one. Why oh, can't do that? No, you can't. You can't tab to the next... No. But that one's pretty. Look at how pretty his fucking eyes are. All other eyes are pretty, though, right? I love it! Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, it does do a different cupcake. Depending on which one you choose. Oh my god, that's so cool. So if we chose so when we in the bad path and we chose it, there is actually a different cupcake. Because I was like, I wonder how they do that. Oh look at that. So yeah, okay, so see like there's no thorns on the rose, right? But that's so sad. So he's got this tattoo that, like, when he starts to fall in love with some of the thorns, go choke the rope. It's kind of amazing, but it's kind of sad if you think about it. He's just walking in. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Ah, I love that, the smirk. Hmm. That one's nice. That one's nice. We could just sit on this for, like, 20 minutes. It's nice. He's pretty. He's like, I'm sorry, I just, I'm, I, I'm a fan of tattoos, so I'd like to admire your ink, if you don't mind turning around so I can see all of the front of you. This one's lovely, too. Ugh. And she gets her prints. Like, he's just so goddamn fucking pretty. Like, I think he's gonna be my favorite. I don't, it doesn't even matter, like, the other routes will be like, oh my god, that one's so great! Karma's still my favorite. <laughs> like, there's always a clear, like, favorite in a game. You're like, I, even though all the other paths are great and you love, like, sometimes you're like, okay, some guys just don't do it for you. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, that's a good path. There's some that are just like, you're like, this one's really good and I love this guy. But there's always a clear favorite. There's usually, like, a clear, like, 100% favorite. Even if you're like, this path, path A was amazing. Guy B is still my favorite. I don't know what it is. He's still my favorite. He's going to be my favorite. Although, since Waltz is the last one, I'm expecting amazing things from his path. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and then see here, it's all filled with thorns. Oh. oh. God damn it, Space. But see, and also because, you know, he's the kind that just shoved us up and pinned us against a wall. Apparently, that's my thing. I don't know. We're like, um, are you okay? Like, I gotta be honest, I do, because, like, I, and I say this in a lot of other games, like, a lot of the heroines always have eyeballs bigger than their fucking heads, and they're a little too, too anime eyes, but, like, hers are proportional, like, yes, they're bigger, obviously, but they're still proportional to her face for the art style, and to him, you know what I mean? It's not like, usually, her eyes would be, like, this, like, her... The top of her eye would be here, and her eyes would literally be half of her goddamn face, and it'd be like, 
Her eyes are the size of his fucking head. It's creepy. So I, I like this. Props to this for being, like, more proportional and, like, not as awkward. His eyes really are pretty, though. Goddamn gorgeous green. Oh. Karma. And llama. <laughs> See, he thinks it's funny, too. <laughs> uh. There he is, is the beast. I like, they were probably like, that's gonna be too hard to draw. You know, it's Shadow Beast. Like the Shadow Beast. And she's like, no, I killed him! I know, right? You're a bitch. Don't you feel like a bitch? I feel like a bitch. I just like ruined my life right there. My god. She's like, no, Karma, I killed you. It's terrifying. Yeah. This one's nice. <laughs> Look at his face. And then we get a kiss. <laughs> this should be the one we ended on, but it's not. We're going to go back to that shirtless one. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. You know what I mean? You just got to look at them. It's got to be just got to end on him, right? I forget which one we ended on on Rods. I'm pretty sure it was just one that was just him. Um, That's part of it. You know what I mean? You just so you can just stare at his prettiness. But not distract yourself with, like, the spacing. Plus, hello. I mean, like, okay, honestly, like, this isn't a bad one either. But he looks so sad in this one. This one, he's a little bit more... There you go. That smirk. That, like... Yeah? You like what you see? Yes, I do. <laughs> Spacey has mental... We all have fucking mental issues. We know it, because we're all sitting here thinking the same thing, aren't we? Like, you like what you see? Yes! You are a cartoon. Well, I have problems. Eh! Fuck it. It's okay. They're just drawn amazing, right? Like the Jessica Rabbit thing. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> anyway. Um, so obviously this part's a little bit shorter because, you know, we finished. Um, so we are going to go down... Rumpel's route next because that's what was recommended in the guide and then we'll do Fritz and then we do Waltz and then we're done with this game. Holy crap. Um. So. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I'm like trying to look at... Oh, sorry. I did not mean to do that. I, I, of course, I'll be... By the time you see this part, I'll be back to my normal recording, but I'm like way ahead. Like... I've recorded all of Cinderella Phenomenon so far to this point, and you haven't even seen any of it. Like, any of it. And, like, normally that would be like, oh, okay, I'm a little bit ahead. It's still over a week before this starts to post. <laughs> I'm, like, three weeks ahead, but I have to be. Um, because, as you know, well, again, by the time this comes out, I'm already back to my normal schedule, but I will have been gone for, like, a week Possibly two. I'm not sure. I'm un unable to record. So, um, so it's going to be funny because what's going to happen in tomorrow when you load up and you see Rumple's part, I will most likely not be recording that until I am back. So I'll be like, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't remember anything. What was this game about? Like, uh, cause I don't think I'm going to record any more of this before I go, um, before I take my little break. Uh, just because then I would be, like, really far ahead. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because it's going to be weird for me to not record games um, while I have time. And I'm, like, I still have, like, a week to get stuff done. Because I rushed so hard to be like, I need to make sure I get stuff done. And now I'm like, oh, well, I'm way the fuck ahead. Shit. It always happens. You're like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I still have, like, 30 hours to record. Oh, I'm done. Oh. Okay, I don't... All right, sure. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really planning to because otherwise that'll take us to... Because this is going to post on a Tuesday, I think. Um, and that'll take us to, like, next Monday. And then I'm like, well, then I'll be, like, way ahead. And then, like, I don't, I don't want to be that far ahead. But I also don't want to be in the middle of a path when I have to stop. Because then I'm going to... Like, you... I, we know how bad it is for me when I literally record a game... 
Like, I record a, a part of this, and then I record a part of Hakawoki, and then I record a part of whatever. And then, like, three days later, I'm like, I don't remember what I fucking did. Or if I play the next day, I'm like, I don't know what I did. I don't even know what I did yesterday when I record parts. But, like, you're, so I'm going to take, like, a week and a half to two weeks and know what the hell happened? No. I got to record the whole thing. So, um, and that's what I do. That's what I've been doing. I record, like, one game. I record the whole path. And then I go on to another game. Record, because I just make, and then I stay immersed in the game. And then it, I less likely to forget. Even though we know I'm still like, I don't remember what I did. We just did. I recorded this part yesterday. I don't know what we did. I don't know. Um. So, yeah. So, we'll see. I'm not sure. So, we'll either, maybe I'm going to end up recording further in advance than I intended to. Or I'm going to literally, in the next part, you're going to see me like, I don't know what the hell happened. It's been two weeks. <laughs> like, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it really just depends on, I, I, I'm still like, I have like, like I said, I have like a week to finish recording stuff and everything and prepare. And I'm still not sure when I know when I'm leaving, but I don't know when I'm coming back. So I don't know if I'm just going to be gone for like, like a week and a half. Will I be gone for two full weeks? Like, I don't fucking know what's going on. Like, I don't know yet. Like, you think I should know this, but I don't. I'm driving, so it's fine. But like, I don't know. Anyway, um, so hopefully I know. But like I said, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So tomorrow for me. For you, it'll be one day between this and the next part. And for me, it could be like almost three weeks, actually, because I'm like done with this and I will have, like, so, oh, holy shit. <laughs> so it was like a month ago. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.